Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So we are going to discuss about uh, like what we have learnt from our lesson animals and in that we have covered little bit of birds okay so we are just going to discuss about those in this session in the form of question and answers see children here so we have got some uh, questions where they are the previous questions from state and national level olympiad examinations clear children so this is a practice session for you and like a revision session for what all we have learned in this week. So are you all ready to follow me and giving me the answers? Okay, now we'll just go with the first question here. So look at the animals shown below and select the one that does not belong to the group. So here we are having four animals. Like what are the children? So this is the cow. Uh, then this one is camel. This one is dolphin and this one is horse. No, we are having four animals here. No, we have to differentiate one animal from the other three. No, if you see cow, it where does it live? It lives on the land. This camel lives on the land. Horse, it lives on the land. And dolphin lives in the water. So, which one does not belong to this group? Dolphin. No, C option is the correct answer whereas other three animals are terrestrial animals because they live on the land and dolphin is an aquatic animal because it lives on the in the water. Clear children? Like this is how we have to answer the questions. Now the word terrestrial means. What does terrestrial means? Just now I said what is it? Is it? A option of the earth, B of the sky, C of the water or D none of this. So which word means terrestrial? It is of the earth. Of the earth. Okay children, what are all live on the earth are called as terrestrial animals. Clear children? The next question. Kangaroos and koalas have specific dash on their stomach and back respectively. Like we have learnt about this. No. What does kangaroos and koalas have on their stomach and back? So A option is pouch. B is couch. C is box. And D is stand. What does kangaroo have children? So we also said that the baby kangaroo is going to fully develop after coming to this part. What is it? It is just like a, a pocket type of part. It is pouch. What is it children? It is pouch. Clear? A option is the correct answer. Now find the odd one out. Odd one means what children? Which does not belong to the others here. So. If you see we are having four pictures here, uh, this, the first A option is a dolphin, B is a fish, C is a whale and D is a frog. No. So which is the odd one? Like if you see children, all these A, B, C, these three are aquatic animals in the sense they purely and completely live in water. No. And when come to frog, this, this creature, this animal lives both on land and also in the water. No. So that is why this is the odd one. That is frog. Clear children? So this D option is the correct one. Okay. Clear? Like if you see even this three A, B, C are aquatic animals. But D, this is amphibian. Amphibian, like which can live uh, both on land and water. Okay, children, clear? Now we will go to the fifth one. Fish is represented with the gills. And here frog. And we have a question mark. Now why do fish uh, uses it gills, children? For breathing. No, like gills are used to, for breathing for fish. And what is used for frog? For breathing. No. Here you have got four options. Skin, eyes, legs and ears. And what did we learn from our lesson? That 
A option is the correct one. That is skin. Okay. Skin. Clear. It breathes through its skin. Sixth question. Find the odd one out. So again, which is different from the remaining three. So A option is cat. B is tiger. C is dog. And D is parrot. Can you identify children? What is the difference here? Cat it is a pet animal, tiger, wild animal, dog, pet animal, parrot, pet animal. In the sense, pet animal is nothing but a domestic animal. No. So, where we will also have those animals in our ho homes. Okay. So, whereas tiger, where do it live? It lives in the forest. It is not a pet animal or a domestic animal. No. So, that is why. B option is the correct answer. This is different with the other three animals. Okay, children? Clear? Yes, now. Seventh question. Sheep is for wool and hen is for what? No. Sheep, what does it give us? It gives us wool. And hen, what does it give? So, let us check with the options here. A is egg. B is milk, C is honey and D is silk. And what does hen gives us children? Yes, it is eggs. Oh no, egg is the correct option. That is option number A. Clear? Now, which of the following is the largest group of animals? Largest group of animals in the sense so many in number. So, these particular animals are of spread in a wide number in the sense there are so many number that we have also learnt in our lesson. So which is the largest number or I mean largest group of animals whether they, they are birds, insects, reptiles or mammals. So what are they birds you know like all pigeon, sparrow all that comes under bird, birds, insects, mosquitoes, flies butterflies all that come under insects okay reptiles what are reptiles like lizards snakes all that reptiles mammals like animals and even as human beings all come under mammals so from these four options so which has got the largest group so they are more in number in the option number b so b is the correct that insects Insects are largest group of animals. Okay, children, clear? Now, chameleon is a lizard that can change its dash according to the surrounding to protect themselves from enemies. Okay, children, so here in the picture you can see the chameleon here. So, what does it do? It changes something according to the surroundings why to protect themselves from the enemies and what did we learn what does it change whether it is a option skin b option tail c option color or d option teeth what does it change children it changes the color it changes its color to the surrounding as we learned that if it is there on the green trees or the plants it changes color into green whether it is in red color a surroundings it changes itself into red so like that to protect from the enemies it changes its color which of the following animal is not kept in the zoo here zoo you know children what is a zoo yes we all love to visit a zoo why because we will be able to see so many varieties of animals in the zoo. No animals are kept in the zoo. And here which of the animal is not kept in the zoo. Okay. So uh, A option is jackal. B is wolf. C is hyena. And D is dog. Okay children. And here even before also. We just said that. So, you have got two varieties of animals here. One is domestic and another one is wild. No. So, domestic animals normally we will not keep them in the zoo. No. They are free to just live along with us. But wild animals 
either they will be in the forest or to just have a visit will keep some of the animals in the zoo no will not let them free as we have our domestic animals so from this four animals which one is not kept in the zoo it is the d option dog no will not keep dog in the zoo it is very free to live along with us on the roads in our houses and all that whereas jackal hyena wolf are wild animals no they are harmful to the other animals so that is why we'll keep them in the zoo or they live in the jungle clear children now 11th one which family of animals does a wolf belong to wolf no which family to which family does it belong whether it is uh, to a dog family or a cat family deer family or a rat family wolf children you, you know how it looks like no it just looks like a dog no so that is why it belongs to the family of dog thing is dog is domestic and wolf is a wild animal that's all okay so option a is the correct answer now the other question choose the correct option no are you familiar with this type of uh, diagrams children so we call them as venn diagrams we call them as venn diagram so here you can see a circle no in circle again you can see inside the circle a small circle again outside the circle another circle no if if this you have something inside the circle so in the sense even though you have another two or three circles in that big circle so they are all the same they all are same it says that they are they are all are same and if you have anything something outside that big circle so that is not mean related to the big circle it is separate okay so like this now we have to find out the correct option suppose if you see here arboreal animal in the big circle it is written that arbo arboreal animal and you have here koala and outside the big circle you are having monkey now what are uh, arboreal animals children so they are animals which live on the tree like we already uh, learnt that they are tree dwellers animals no which live on the tree so here if you see koala lives on the tree and even monkey also lives on the tree no but here this monkey is separated it is not in the big circle no which is meant for arboreal animal it it is outside the circle so they are telling that monkey is not an arboreal animal is it correct no monkey and koala both are arboreal animals no so this one is the wrong option and if you see here so here what they are telling is so arboreal they, it is a different circle again monkey and koala no both are in one circle okay so they are uh, they, they are telling that koala belongs to monkey because the big circle is named as monkey in that big circle koala is there saying that this koala is i mean belongs to monkey is it correct children no no so koala and monkey both belong to arboreal group no so that is why this is also wrong no here what is there see here you can see a big circle which is telling arboreal animal but some part of the circle here see if you see this part of the circle which is uh, named as monkey it is some part is inside the arboreal circle and some part is outside the arboreal uh, circle no even koala also something some part inside the arboreal and some part outside the arboreal that so it means that these both animals 
belong somewhat to arboreal group and somewhat to other group. Is it true children? No. This is also a wrong answer. And here if you see children, so our big circle which is named as arboreal animal and then in that we can see two circles so which name monkey and cola in each and this means that in the arboreal animal group this monkey and cola both can be named okay in the sense monkey and cola both belong to arboreal animal so this is the right option clear children this is the right option like arboreal animals means both monkey and also cola both are the animals which live on the trees so like this you have to answer the Venn diagram questions clear now which of the following animals is useful to us which of the animal is useful so if you see a option is rhinoceros no b option is giraffe c is panther and d is camel where do rhinoceros live children in the forest okay near the water also panther again it is a wild animal giraffe also it lives in forests and jungles and camel it lives in desert and uh, if you see which animal is used for us in the sense for human beings the most in the sense camel d why it lives in deserts and it can store water for so many days no so that is why camel is useful for the humans clear children now what is the national animal of india national animal is it a option lion b option elephant c option tiger and d option fox what is the children yes it is c option tiger clear which one of the following animals has a pouch to carry their young ones so we have already learnt this so which one whether a gorilla b hare c kangaroo and d deer okay gorilla you know like it's just like a chimpanzee gorilla hare like a rabbit kangaroo you know and deer okay which one has got a pouch yes it is c option children kangaroo kangaroo the diagram given below shows a food chain now answer the question so here you can see a grass then a deer then a lion in the sense grass is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by the lion okay and which of the following is the producer whether a option lion b option deer c option grass and d option lion and deer which one is, children which is produced as food here yes it is grass no first gra c option is the correct answer so first grass is taken as food by the deer then this deer is taken as food by the lion so grass is the producer here clear now to the next question which animal has a pair of visible big teeth which are not meant for eating pair of big teeth like uh, which is not meant for eating okay children and the options here are elephant crocodile nilgai and tiger okay so which one children whereas you know what is elephant it has got two big trunks crocodile also got teeth nilgai is a blue bull it's a bull actually which is in blue color so we can also call it as a blue bull tiger tiger he uses its teeth to front sharp teeth to uh, eat the food no so what is the correct option here a that is elephant the teeth like as it is we call it as trunk this is not meant for eating actually no it just catch hold of uh, something here but it does not eat okay so this is the option correct option look at the table carefully which of the following animals can be placed in place of x okay children see here 
we have got three different type of animals that is herbivore carnivore and omnivore no so what is herbivore which eats only plants whereas cow and buffalo carnivore which eats only animal flesh tiger and lion omnivore which eats both either plant or animal flesh so one example is human being the other example that is x so which animal can be placed here so that we have to identify from the options so whether it is crow camel deer or cow crow camel deer or cow so you can say crow we can say crow because crow it also eats food which is produced by plants and it also eats insects no insects also so that is why we can place crow here that is a option clear children a fox grows thicker fur as season changes this adaptation helps the fox to see children so the fox you know the fox so it has got fur on its body no so as the season changes suppose like winter is coming the fox fur grows thick like this adaptation in the sense this habit of making itself comfortable to the living place no this adaptation helps the fox too why does this habit helps the fox whether to find food a option and whether to keep warmer b option whether to grow stronger c option whether none of this d option so which one is the correct one okay so it its fur grows thick to keep itself warm in the winters or any other season okay whether it is growing thick to keep warm whether it is growing thin to again protect from the heat so here b option is the correct answer clear children now choose the correct option choose the correct option see here like as i have explained about the venn diagram here children so carefully observe this and mark the correct option a c in the big circle we have got a pet animal and we are stating that we have got dog and parrot in this pet animal and here three different circles which are not connected to the other like pet animal parrot and dog so they are not connected here so pet animal is different and parrot and dog are interconnected interconnected in the sense yeah see here like this and here parrot in that parrot like big circle is stating the parrot and we are trying to say that dog and pet animal belong to parrot is it true children no so which one is the correct option now a1 whereas we are trying to say that under pet animal we have dog and parrot is it clear no yes next question fill in the blank with correct option on the basis of food habit so we have divided the animals into different categories no so if you see here we are having herbivores carnivores omnivores and the other one what is that so we have to name it so whether it is parasite a option whether it is eyesight b option c option website or d option none of this what is it children is eyesight an animal is website an animal and d none of this option and the a option parasite yes parasite is the correct answer here why parasite is also an animal which is invisible and which lives on the or inside the body of an animal and which causes danger to its host now we learnt this so as it takes the i mean uh, takes the animal or uh, whatever on which it is laying as a host as its food 
no from that parts it takes the food it causes danger to that particular host no so that is why parasite a option is the correct answer here whereas herbivores carni herbivores are plant eating animals carnivores are like animal eating mean flesh eating animals omnivores are both plant and animal food is taken by them clear children parasite is the correct option and some of them live inside or on the bodies of other animals and obtain their food from them so just now we learnt that and parasites cause great loss to the life of their dash no just now we learned that parasites no they live on or inside the body of the other animals and they cause great loss to the life of their dash so what is that whether ghost a option most b option host c option first d option yes children the right answer is host c option like host in the sense on which body they are living or in which body they are living clear children now 23rd one of the following animals has strong hind legs and hooves see children hind legs are nothing but the back legs actually okay and here so which which one has got hind legs and hooves like uh, hooves hooves is like a jumping okay and here in the uh, diagram you can see cheetah kangaroo tortoise and lizard so which one can jump with this with its back legs so that is the question okay and uh, if you see here b option is the correct one no kangaroo so it it is uh, the fastest jumping animal actually okay kangaroo have you seen children it will not walk it will never walk it just jumps no because it has got strong hind legs and hooves it is able to jump so b is the correct answer and uh, directions here based on the uh, poem below choose the best option okay we are the creatures who has got special feature our bones are light and hollow sky is the limit to follow who am i so here the question is like we have to just uh, answer this riddle no like we are the creatures who has got special feature what are the features their bones are light and hollow in the sense empty and sky is the limit to follow no they can just go until the sky so who are they what are they terrestrial animals a option b is aerial animals c is aquatic animals b is amb amb amphibians sorry okay so terrestrial animals in the sense children they are the animals which live on the land can they go till the sky no aerial animals which live in the air so what are they birds no birds can they fly to the sky yes no whether aquatic animals which live in water no they can't fly again to the sky amphibians is like which also uh, which live on the wet land no like frog and all that can they fly no so b option is the correct answer like their bones birds bones are light and hollow in the sense as they have to fly in the air their bones are made very light in weight so that they can fly easily okay children so this is the answer b is the correct option now is the following diagram uh, in the following diagram sorry which one is the herbivorous animal herbivorous what is herbivorous children only plant eating animal okay so if you see here you have got grass and then uh, a grasshopper uh, grass is eaten by the grasshopper here then this grasshopper is eaten by the frog and this frog is eaten by the snake no so then which is the herbivorous animal oh either a b c or d 
Yes, children? Grasshopper. No, grasshopper. Why? Because it is eating grass here. No, so that is why grasshopper is the correct option. Now, match the following. So, you have got list 1 and list 2 in the slide, children. Whereas, you have got uh, the name of the animals and to which group they belong in the second list. We have to match it. No, like A, first one camel. No, what is camel, children? Is it an omnivore and herbivore? Yes, it is herbivore. No, camel. It is herbivore. Then, uh, B, jackal. Jackal, what is it? Is it uh, omnivore, herbivore, carnivore or parasite? So, jackal eats animal flesh. No. So, that is why jackal will match with the fourth option. Crow. As we just gave an example before, which can eat both. Either plant or an animal. So, it matches with the second option. And bacteria. What is bacteria children? Which lives in our body or on our body? No, that is invisible which we call it as parasite. Which matches with the first option. And now our answer should be A4, sorry A3, B4, C2 and D1. No, so where do we have this answer? In the first option that is A. A3, B4, C2 and D1. Whereas rest options are wrong. So this is the correct one. Clear children? Yes. Now we will go to the other question. Which one of the birds shown below cannot fly? Which cannot fly? See children you are having oval here. Eagle and uh, penguin and pigeon. Which cannot which cannot fly? Yes, it is C option, penguin. Whereas, rest of all can fly except penguin. Clear? Which one of the following animals is not an insect? See children, observe very carefully. Which one is not an insect? From either options are butterfly, ant, grasshopper and spider. No. So, if you see, mostly four look as the same. But for an insect, you have one quality. What is that? Every insect has got six legs. Okay, six legs. But here, if you see here, children, from these four animals, only one particular animal has got eight legs. One has got eight legs. Other three have got six legs. What what have got six legs are called as insects actually. Okay. No. So then now we have to identify which has got eight legs. That is the spider. So that is why this is not an insect. Okay. Another thing is like insect has got three main branches. Insects will be having three main branches. But here spider has got only two branches. That is also one, uh, I mean branches in the sense, uh, section sorry, in their body. They will have three sections. Insects have three sections. Whereas spider has got two sections of their body. That we will be going to learn in our further classes. Okay children. But for now, uh, for your easy understanding, I would like to say that insects will be having six legs. Whereas spider has got eight legs. So that is why this spider doesn't come under insect group. Clear children? Now the 29th question here. A bird is different from a rabbit because a bird dash. How is a bird different children from a rabbit? Bird has got feathers but rabbit does not have feather. No. So that is why C option has is the correct answer. No. So, bo both bird and rabbit, they can grow, they can move and they need air. But only difference is that bird has got feathers and rabbit does not have it. 30th question here. Ram had a pet dog named Tom. 
Ram was not well, what should Ram do? Okay, children. So he has got Ram. This boy has a got a pet dog which is named as Tom. No, Tom. In the sense, the pet dog is not well. It is not feeling well. It is sick. So what should Ram do? Either he has to leave Ram, Tom in the jungle, or he has to leave Tom on the roadside, or he has to take him to a doctor. or he has to do all the above things so what is the correct option children suppose if you have got any pet animal with you whether dog cat parrot pigeon whatever it may be no what you will do if it falls sick if it is hurt if it is not feeling well will you throw it away will it send it away no no when you get ill when you feel ill what are parents going to do will take them take you to the doctor no no if you are ill what your mom or dad going to do they will take you to a doctor no same like that if any pet animal is sick what we have to do we have to take him to the doctor no here also ram has to take his pet dog tom to the doctor so c option is the correct answer so that the dog get cured from its sickness or illness whatever may be thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates